Understanding the phrase, I got a wound, an English language guide. Hello, English learners around the world. Today, we're going to dive into a common English phrase, I got a wound. This simple sentence can be quite informative in understanding everyday English. We'll explore its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you grasp it fully. Let's get started and unlock the nuances of this phrase. When someone says, I got a wound, they are essentially informing others that they have been injured. A wound refers to any physical injury, typically involving a cut or break in the skin. It's important to note that this phrase is often used in casual or informal settings. Wounds can vary greatly. They might be minor, like a small cut or scrape, or serious, like a deep gash or laceration. The severity of the wound often dictates the context in which this phrase is used. For instance, in a medical emergency, the phrase might be used to quickly convey the need for medical attention. I got a wound can be used in various contexts. Let's look at some examples. 1. Casual conversation. I was cooking and I got a wound. It's just a small cut, nothing serious. 2. Seeking help. I fell while hiking and got a wound on my leg. Can you help me find a first aid kit? 3. In a medical setting, I got a wound in the accident. I think it might need stitches. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different situations ranging from casual to urgent. Incorrect usage, saying, I got a wound, in situations where there is no physical injury. For example, using it to describe emotional hurt is incorrect. Confusing similar phrases, don't confuse, I got a wound, with, I am wounded. The latter is more formal and often implies a more serious injury. Understanding phrases like, I got a wound, is crucial in mastering everyday English. It's a phrase that can be used in various contexts to describe physical injuries. Remember, the way you use it can change depending on the situation's seriousness. We hope this video has been helpful in your English learning journey. Keep practicing, and you'll be a pro in no time.